a mixed mag and it kind of speaks a lot to of the pains and the troubles people have been having going out nowadays especially with people overdosing or unfortunately not being able to handle the drugs that they're taking now there's been several cases of people passing away in nightclubs across the uk there's obviously that case that happened in berlin at the suicide club with somebody allegedly overdosing going um on GHB, obviously in LA, um, there's been the case happening with those comedians that unfortunately passed away with cocaine laced with fentanyl. And then most recently, we had Michael K. Williams, unfortunately, passing away also with what they're alleging was heroin laced with fentanyl too. So there's definitely been an issue with drugs um, in this kind of new normal that we're living in at the moment. And I've long hypothesized that part of the reason has been the lockdown. I think in general, looking back in history, when we look back at this time, we'll definitely see that the lockdowns were definitely had far more negative than they did positives, especially when it comes to dealing with people within the, you know, the young sector, maybe say, say 35 and under, who basically live to socialize, live to be around, travel, all that good stuff. And especially considering that the virus didn't, you know, disproportionate didn't affect them as much as it did affect people in in the older ages especially in the beginning of the covid um pandemic we're gonna see definitely that this pan this lockdown process or this lockdown uh, approach was definitely a lot more destructive than it was helpful because of the fact that people were locked in at home had nowhere to go out there was no socializing all that kind of stuff was obviously something that was off the cards which then led to people going i think going over and above to make up for lost time and i've i've seen for myself and again i'm somebody that I would describe myself as like a cringy enough as like a power raver if that made sense right prior to COVID I was going I was going to Berlin at least three times a year sometimes two right I was going to Berlin I'd be going out every weekend I'd be DJing in clubs from like Friday to Thursday to Saturday sometimes um, and I'd be going out Friday to Sunday every single weekend so I was going out all the fucking time and my endurance for raving and for being outdoors and getting drunk and being high was super high, right? No pun intended, really, really high. I could go out back to back to back to back and not really feel none the worse, especially if I made sure that my Monday and Friday was tight and I was eating healthy and I was sleeping on time and waking up on time to go to work and work out and stuff. I was particularly fine. But even I've found in myself with the last 18 or 14 months or so of inactivity of not being able to go to parties, again, I didn't really misbehave. I didn't go to a play grave. I didn't go to any illegal parties in the forest or anything. I made. I mostly stayed indoors and if ever I needed a bit of a dance or a boogie, me and my friends will go book a, a slot at Pirate Studios and have a bit of a dance there. But I've been out of step for a long time. And even I saw for myself going to our first couple of raves, it took me a long time to kind of get up to the level that I was at prior. And I'm still not going to be there. I don't probably think I'll ever get back to that level because it's just it's just not the same tempo that we're living at the moment, especially from working from home. Things have just changed in, in general. But even I could see that level that I was at prior was really excessive and I couldn't get back to that level again. So I can only imagine for the kids who have never had the experience of being able to go out prior to COVID because they just turned 18 maybe during this span, right? In 21 or maybe 2020 last year. So to finally be able to go to the club now and then take your first pill or get high or get drunk or whatever it may be without eating too much and just being you know sweaty in a club somewhere, I can understand it leading to some really mad situation, especially on top of it when you add in this... Um, with obviously with the lack of lorry drivers and obviously the the takedown that happened recently in Encro chat where a lot of you know big pill manufacturers were taken down and you know basically sent to prison which basically led to a real drought in terms of the quality of drugs available out on the market so you've got the lack of movement of these drugs in the first place you've got the lack of supply because most of these people are in jail and then in terms of covid you've got the lack of um su supply chain happening because of the disruption that's been going on and people prioritizing other things and also you've got the other thing i think which i mentioned in the article is that supposedly with the supply chain being disrupted as much as it is drug dealers now are preferring to basically take but bigger risk and basically send stuff like cocaine and heroin through instead of advice instead of going with the pills and stuff because there's obviously there's a far bigger margin um in selling something like a cocaine vis-a-vis -vis selling pills and whatnot which is then leading to a dearth and the quality of pills and the pills that are coming here are bush to shit and not really that great and you know it's it's leading to again to kids basically overdosing getting into these weird weird um scenarios where basically people are getting sick on a dance floor because they've not had the ability to go out for the last 18 months and they're trying to make up for lost time that's basically my hypothesis i think about it but let's continue with the article it says the uk has been 
experiencing an MDMA shortage. According to experts, and the drought can be traced back to COVID-19, Brexit and subsequent disruptions to supply chains. It's thought that the recent reduction in heavy goods vehicles transporting items across the UK has also had an effect on disruption of the substance. Speaking to the Metro, Naheem Eastwood um, said the um, sorry, executive director of the drugs charity release explained that the shortage could certainly be a result of the reduction of HGVs carrying goods in from Europe where illegal goods would easily be concealed amongst legal products and where suppliers um, had prioritise getting their more lucrative drugs such as cocaine and heroin which I mentioned before indeed since England has currently one of the um, only European countries in which clubs are open MDMA producers in the Netherlands and the main manufacturers area may have seen the industry as profitable may not see the industry as profitable enough until festivals and clubs return to their usual scale which I think if I'm not surprised if I'm not in, if I'm not um, incorrect Netherlands clubs I think closed recently right and they're meant to reopen either now or November October I'm not too sure so yeah that does make a lot of sense um, it says here Eastwood continues and said like many other goods that are imported into the UK we are seeing that supply chains for some illicit substances affected although that this has been a regulated um, market it is hard to pin it down and it's likely the result of a number of different factors the difficulties in assessing um, MDMA has led to a rise in fake alternatives at clubs and festivals drug testing and advice charity The Loop reported that only half of the MDMA tested at Lost Village Festival only half right unless a big festival happened Lost Village happened if I'm not mistaken that bank holiday weekend in August right only half actually contain the substance instead party girls have been sold a mixture of substance of substitute substances such as 4 cmc 3 cmc or ethanol all of which are reported to cause anxiety paranoia and more intense redosing so of more than half of the drugs that were ingested at people at lost village one of our bigger festivals one of our most well-run festivals by the looks of it, it looks flipping amazing the sound looks really cool too or it sounds really amazing for the clips i've seen it sounds like because you know most of the festivals in the uk if you're not uh, if you're not aware have a real issue with sound especially if they're next residential areas sound pollution council people complaining blah blah blah, blah which leads to a sometimes a subpar experience but from what i've seen in clips and stuff it's really really good very well produced so if they even had that issue especially when you consider you know the tickets there are aren't cheap so people that are going have you know disposable income you'd imagine they're not going to be buying cheap shit for the sake of it if they're not able to find good stuff you know god 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 forgive or god you know put some blessing on the kid that's just going out with 20 quid to his name imagine what he's going to be able to accure when he goes out to the club it continues here said last month there were reports of fake mdma containing 4 cmc circuit in manchester though the substances um has been used to pad out illegal substances before it's been found to have been a much concentration recently of course because of anchor chat takedown all that malarkey the manchester drug analysis and knowledge exchange um issued warnings on social media the mandrakes director dr oliver sutcliffe told the daily mail these compounds are potentially more harmful but the fact that they're not fully understood therefore people don't really understand what these doses of things to um to take or what happens if they take in combination since clubs were open in the uk there's been a number of high profile instances of related um, harmful batches of ecstasy in july 2nd people died in bristol and further 20 hepatitis after taking a blue test of the pill that contains super strength mdma so yeah it's a mad time out there but again most of it i think has come to as a response or most of it i think is an effect of lockdowns obviously then on top of that the encro chat takedown definitely disrupted a lot of it but covid and the lockdowns in general has definitely fucked up people's tolerance levels and ability to just you know take drugs in general um it's definitely messed up people's idea of how to take drugs when they're outdoors maybe because they've been doing a little bit too much indoors and when you go outdoors you maybe then you know go above and beyond what you're doing indoors too with the dosage from malarkey and then of course just in general in the uk we have a very bad relationship when it comes to allowing or understanding why people go outdoors and take drugs and drink and whatever we're really draconian in that weird way so people are having to buy stuff in the black markets they don't get it tested it's just a whole shit show of situation but finally thankfully we have some kind of insight into what's going on and i think as sad as it is these high profile deaths have put a bit of awareness and maybe we're a bit conscious about making sure that they they're buying stuff legit they're checking stuff on pill report they're asking advice from friends they're calling up people at loop they're buying test kits which are you know really really cheap if you're not sure on what drugs you're taking if what quality they are and are hoping that way you can go out and have as best time as possible and not be in any spot of bother you would hope you would hope